Welcome to Midwest Laboratories. Today we will be going over environmental sampling with a sponge or a swab. First, notice the clearly labeled expiration date on the outside of the bag. Next, carefully take out the sterile gloves and put them on. Sponges should not be used for cleaning. The area should be cleaned first and then the sponge should be used to check the surface for residual bacteria. Next, open your bag and squeeze the sponge up to the top to carefully take out the sponge. Next, swab a one foot by one foot area of your cleaned surface. Flip over the sponge and do the same area again. Place the sponge in the bag and roll the top down to seal the bag. Label what you have tested. So for this example, we are doing tabletop on the outside of the bag, preferably with a Sharpie. Swab your next area with a new sponge the same way as you did before. And label it accordingly. Repeat the same steps for all surfaces, each with a new sponge. And label the bags accordingly. For areas that are harder to reach, we suggest using a swab. The expiration date will be clearly listed on the outside as well. You do not need to use gloves for sampling with the swab. With the swab, test the area the same way you would with the sponge, covering an area about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, flipping the swab and covering the same area. With a new swab, Test your next area and clearly label the surface that you tested. To submit your sample paperwork, we recommend using the MyLab portal. Select Submit Samples, choose your first category as food and ingredients, and select your sample type as either sponge or swab. Write in your description one, and label the sample IDs the same way you did on each bag. Repeat this for your swab samples as well. Click on review order and submit to get paperwork to print off and put in the box with your samples. Thank you so much for joining us today on how to properly do environmental swab and sponge sampling. For questions about this process or our testing, call us today at 402-334-7770. Thank you.